to treat and prevent diseases and conditions. Our body's fat has a higher number of stem cells than the spinal cord, and our next presenters will share with us how stem cells from fat are harvested and used to heal damaged body parts. Ladies and gentlemen, for this great and interesting uh, presentation, please welcome reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Sean Yunai, and orthopedic and uh, preventative medicine physician, Dr. Bruce Fishman. Let's give them a big round of applause because this is a very interesting topic. Just making sure this is working. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having us here. I want to uh, give my thanks to the Valley Economic Center and to the uh, university for inviting us for this speech. Um, I'm Dr. Sean and I'm a plastic surgeon. My name is Dr. Bruce Fishman, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon. And we want to tell you about the new and exciting area of regenerative medicine, especially about stem cell therapy. You know, looking at our presentation, you're probably wondering, what, what is the connection to Star Trek? I don't know if you guys have been uh, old enough as me to remember Star Trek. In fact, do you remember that episode where Dr. McCoy healed Spock with a single injection. Wow, that was unbelievable and futuristic. Well, the future is here now. The future is stem cell therapy and we're going to tell you all about it. But first, what are stem cells? Well, stem cells are undeveloped cells that are dormant in every tissue of your body. And they're just waiting to be activated by any injury or disease. So their job is to heal and replace injured and diseased tissues. For example, our body uses the heal, when you have a damaged joint, the damaged joint sends a signal to the stem cells throughout your body come and heal those injuries. The problem is, is the amount of stem cells allocated to each of the organs is really small. And very often, it's very difficult to get enough stem cells for that to go forward. So and also, every once in a while, the degree of injury overwhelms your body's ability to fix and repair itself. So when that happens, the patient is left with bad joint pain and is left with physical dysfunction. So where do we find these stem cells in our body in Well, as you can see, stem cells can be harvested in different ways. You probably have heard of bone marrow transplantation. <coughs> yes, we can get stem cells from bone marrow. But this is a difficult and painful procedure where you have to drill into the bone in order to harvest very little amount of stem cells. Also, there is stem cell available through embryonic tissue and through uh, infant uh, uh, cord blood. The problem with that, there are issues right now with the uh, ethical issues with using embryonic stem cell, as well as there's risk of disease transmission by using somebody else's blood. So what is the best way of obtaining stem cells? We found, and in the literature, there's overwhelming evidence now that one of the highest and best source of stem cell is actually your own fat. So fat, as you can see here, this is a picture of close-up picture of your fat, which has a lot of good stuff, the stem cells in it. And what we do is we can take that stuff and use it to heal your body. And we can actually 
take these stem cells in a fresh way and use it immediately. Then how do we harvest these stem cells? You know, I've been doing liposuction as a plastic surgeon for the last 20 years. And I never thought liposuction would have such an impact on healing people. In fact, now we're using liposuction to, to heal people, cure people. So what I do is I first suction out the fat. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys think, geez, that's a great thing. I like to give some up too. <laughs> So we take your unwanted fat, and through a sterile process, we separate the stem cells from the fat. We spin it down, and in the picture you see in that test tube, the fat goes on the top, and at the bottom is a small pellet of stem cells. That small pellet has millions and millions of fresh and healing stem cells. And next, I take that stem cell and I give it to Dr. Fishman. So after I receive this, you can see that tube there at the very bottom, there's millions of stem cells. So we take that and then we reconstitute that in some normal saline and then split it into two portions. One a major portion and one a smaller portion. And then we take the major portion and we mix this with something called platelet-rich plasma. PRP. Now, PRP is something we actually get from you. While Dr. Nye is busy in getting those fat cells out, and that stromovascular fraction that has all those stem cells, they're taking your fresh blood, which is then put to a special procedure called plasmapheresis, which concentrates all of the uh, platelets and that plasma with all of the human growth factors. We then take those stem cells that Dr. Unai has been able to get for me, and we mix it in the, with the concentrated platelet-rich plasma, and then take that highly concentrated cellular and protein solution with heavy growth, human growth factors, and inject it directly into the injured joint. Or in the case of people with having disc problems, or degenerative disc disease or chronic back pain, we inject it directly into the disc of the spine. Now, FDA's, now by the way, the second part, which we put aside, we mix with normal saline, and then we put that IV, we infuse that IV through a special filter. So you're getting both these stem cells directly into the joint, and you're getting it systemically. FDA studies, and I want to make this clear, FDA studies have proven the safety of the procedure of putting stem cells and PRP into human joints and into the spines. So we know that's safe. So, that after we're done with that and the patient treatment is done, what we can do, you see that little, that little picture at the top showing that, uh, that, uh, that freezing. What we can do is also, we can do what's called cryo cryopreservation of your stem cells. So for some people that have multiple problems, maybe both their knees are bad, their back, they can't get it all treated necessarily with one sitting. So very often, Dr. and I will take some extra stem cells and they will be sent to an FDA-approved facility where these frozen stem cells are kept should you want to come back and have more. Now, you can always, again, have uh, Dr. Unite do the liposuction again, but this self stays the application if you want that to be the case. So the, um, so the next question becomes, how is it possible for us to help people with stem cells? So I'm going to give you the orthopedic perspective. So for people that have problems and injuries and damage to their joints. You can see knee joints, ankle, <coughs> hip. Any of those joints over time can get into trouble. They get into trouble with various problems. They can have arthritis, tendonitis. They can have bursitis in any one of those joints. Individuals, as you well know, chronic back pain with degenerative disc disease is one of the most common problems we face in this country with people with chronic back pain. And it's very difficult. We don't have very much success in treating them. Now, published studies, published studies have documented that we can uh, help um, 
a heel injured cartilage. Studies have shown MRIs were done before putting the uh, stem cells in these and then after putting stem cells in these. And they followed them up and looked at these serial MRIs and documented that you can get healing and you can get replacement of some of that cartilage surface. Other studies, for instance, with regards to the back, a recent study was done that took patients that failed uh, all kinds of treatment for their low back, had chronic back pain, and they were now surgical candidates. So these people were stuck with nothing working except an operation. They took these patients and injected stem cells directly into the injured discs, and they followed them for years. The most recent two-year follow-up showed 71% had diminished pain, 64% had less disability, 81% of these people in a two-year follow-up and avoid meeting their spinal cord. Those are pretty good results. So wouldn't it be great if we could avoid a big surgery, such as a total joint replacement or even a, um, a disc fusion in your back? Well, as an orthopedic surgeon, I can fix your joints, I can fix your back, but I can't make you beautiful. <laughs> For that, that's what Dr. United is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you about the cosmetic applications of stem cell therapy. Uh, you know, we all want to uh, be youthful and look beautiful. Well, here's stem cell therapy. Actually, right now, stem cell therapy is used to rejuvenate the aging face. The procedure is called a stem cell facelift. In cosmetic surgery, as well as reconstructive surgery, we're also using stem cells to heal areas of burns, scars, non-healing wounds, or damaged skin. So this is an advent that's used both in reconstructive surgery, people that have non-healing wounds on their legs, as well as burn patients, and as well as patients that have damaged, sun-damaged skin on their face. All of them become more healthy and youthful with the use of stem cells. Now, I'm sure some of you have or know about breast augmentation. Now, wouldn't it be interesting, instead of using a breast implant, which is a foreign material, to instead use your own fat and stem cells to build a beautiful, youthful breast? And in fact, we're doing that. I've done that on a number of patients, both for reconstructive surgery as well as just for breast augmentation to make the breast perkier and more youthful. Well, we all know we live in LA, and this is the mecca of BBL. Who knows what is a BBL? That stands for Brazilian Butt Lift. <laughs> And we do use fat, your own fat, the stuff that you want to give away from the areas that you want to give away. And we curve you, and we shape you, and we make you a more curvaceous figure. You know, Kim Kardashian is going to be very jealous soon. <laughs> well, now I'm sure you want to know where to go and get this stuff. Here at... <laughs> Los Angeles, <laughs> California Stem Cell Institute of Los Angeles. We have a group of physicians and specialists in stem cell therapy that perform stem cell treatment for you in a state-of-the-art facility. To learn more about us, about our practice, about stem cell treatment, we invite you to visit our website. DrStemCell.com. That will give you a wealth of information all about stem cells, stem cell treatment, and all aspects of stem cell therapy. Thank you for inviting us. I hope that you guys learned something. Uh, I'm Dr. Sean Unai. And I'm Dr. Bruce Fishman. And we are going to be here uh, at our booth to answer any questions you guys might have about stem cells. So um, with stem cell treatment, Sean and I hope to see you 
Live long and prosper.